The stock market rallying to new highs. Here now is John Ede, president of Argus Research. All right, John, so we just came two points away from 2,500 in the S&P 500, so we can't bring out those hats just yet. But what do you think? Is this just a symptom of continued liquidity from central banks just sort of flooding the system? Well, that certainly is a factor, Scott. But um, also, we've got better economic growth than we've had over the past six months, plus uh, corporate earnings are growing at a double-digit pace, which is good. And if you look at the dollar, it's been trending lower, and I think that sets up for a couple of good earnings seasons in the third quarter and fourth quarter and out into 2018. So there's reasons for this rally. So I shouldn't be this cynical to say it's all just because of the Fed. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think you, you, you raise a, a point that there are risks out there. And in fact, we think we're closer to the end of this bull hmm. market than we are to the beginning. Hmm. And, and once we cycle through this up earnings period, well, investors may want to start thinking more cautiously or defensively. So if I'm a long-term investor, maybe I have some ETFs, right? I mean, should I be worried or should I even be watching these record highs? I mean, what kind of investors should be cautious right now? Well, I, I you know, certainly somebody who, who is going to need funds over the next two or three years, you probably want to reduce your exposure to stocks, and particularly to high multiple stocks. Those could be at risk if interest rates rise or if earnings miss. But uh, you know, not, not moving everything to cash, just kind of at the margin, maybe selling off some of the winners and slightly reducing uh, allocation to equities in a portfolio. Now, so far this year, buying on the dips, right, and we've only had a few of them this year, that's proven to be a good strategy. But when we hear North Korea say they want to turn the U.S. into ashes and darkness, I mean, you know, they've said things before, bombastic things, but how do you grapple with rhetoric like that? Well, um, you know, certainly the uh, White House has a number of tools. They've got uh, diplomacy, they've got sanctions, they've got, uh, you know, partners, nations who we're working with, plus they've got the knowledge that, you know, North Korea doesn't quite have everything they say they have just yet. So um, I think the risk is, you know, the markets keep going higher, mm. and then there is some kind of geopolitical event. The U.S. is in ashes, uh, but when the market is priced per per perfection and, and, and you have that kind of development, you see a pretty sharp sell-off. So if you believe that earnings growth is going to continue, you know, we have low inflation, the Fed's going to kind of continue to, to support the markets, what sectors would you ride for the remainder of the year to kind of capitalize on those themes? Well, um, you know, the consumer remains pretty strong. Unemployment is very low. Uh, house prices are moving higher. So I, I'd look at some consumer stocks. And, and also in, in healthcare, mm. there's quite a... R&D renaissance going on right now with important products coming out for diseases like cancer. I think that's another area where there's good growth, too. All right, John Ede, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much, as always. Okay, thank you, Scott. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.